Jones here on News Now from Fox. Meanwhile, we are taking a live look just outside of the Fox News headquarters in New York City. It is a gorgeous Tuesday morning, and that's because we have a live report from Fox 5 New York's Kayla Mamalak. Kayla, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, all's well. We're just outside FDNY headquarters here in downtown Brooklyn. The firefighters here next in line to get the coronavirus vaccine. This is a group of firefighters, the second largest fire department in the nation, 11,000 firefighters all rolling up their sleeves starting today. Now, here's the issue with all of that. So far here in New York State, roughly 140,000 New Yorkers have gotten the coronavirus vaccine or at least the first dose of that COVID vaccine. But all of them have been seemingly willing and eager to get that vaccine. Here at the FDNY, a survey was taken at the beginning of this month that showed that 50 55% of firefighters here at the department are weary of the vaccine, say they don't want it. Now, keep in mind that survey was taken prior to any FDA approval of the vaccine. Since then, like I said, 140,000 New Yorkers have gotten the vaccine. So time will tell. So in just a few hours, we'll certainly be keeping an eye out. We know for sure that several FDNY officials will be getting their vaccines. We know that EMTs, their colleagues have rolled up their sleeves just last week. They'll continue the vaccination process this week, but certainly keeping an eye on these people because prior to this, it was healthcare workers, nursing home residents, all of whom have been incredibly eager to get that vaccine. Kayla, apologies if you've already mentioned this, but how many city firefighters are willing to get the vaccine? Do we know? So right now, there are 11,000 firefighters in the FDNY. It, on December 7th, so before there was any emergency use authorization for Moderna or, or Pfizer, an internal poll among the FDNY found it was a survey of about 2,000, said that more than 50%, 55% to be exact, said they didn't want the vaccine at all. That, of course, is an alarming number, but also mirrors several polls taken with Americans across the state. More than half of Americans have said that they're wary about getting the vaccine. But again, this survey was taken prior to several other healthcare workers, nursing home residents rolling up their sleeves, getting the vaccine themselves. Surveys haven't been taken since then, so it's certainly a day to keep an eye on to see how these firefighters continue to accept it or not accept it. But so far, we know that at least 10 will be getting the vaccine in just a few hours right here. Meanwhile, the number of New Yorkers testing positive rose 2% since just Friday, which was Christmas Day. And what do we think is attributing to this? So it's a great question. On Friday, prior to the holiday break, the positivity rate, in other words, the average of people testing positive for coronavirus across New York State was over 5%. Yesterday, Governor Cuomo, the governor here in New York, announced that it was over 8%, 8.33% to be exact. That is a dramatic jump. Now, while most officials were anticipating a post-holiday bump, a spike like this so quickly is alarming. So the governor is saying that it, that likely has a lot more to do with who's getting tested, why, and when. In other words, a whole lot of people who planned on traveling before the holiday break likely got tested per the CDC's advice, people feeling healthy and otherwise. The people getting tested, according to Governor Cuomo, on Sunday were many of whom going to urgent care facilities. Oftentimes, urgent care facility people who go to get the tests there are people who are feeling symptomatic. In other words, fewer people getting tested on Sunday and more people who are feeling symptomatic. So Governor Cuomo is saying that these might be not necessarily where the positivity rate is right now. While it is alarming, a 2% spike in just two days or more than 2% spike in two days is alarming. It's something New York state officials are keeping an eye on for now because as of right now, it's not 100% clear if that's really the spike in positivity rate right now or if it's just a matter of who's getting tested when and why. All right, Fox 5's Kayla Mamalak there in Brooklyn, New York. Thank you so much for joining us here on News Now from Fox this morning. Thank you for having me. Taking you back out live, everyone, just outside of the Fox News headquarters in New York City. That's because Kayla is in New York and the sun is rising here on the East Coast. You can see it there off in the distance. So the lights, they will be dimming in New York in just moments. But in, meanwhile, you can take a gorgeous live look there. Radio City Music Hall right across the street. Again, thank you so much to Kayla for joining us right here on News Now from Fox. We're going to take you back out now to Chicago to listen in on Mayor 